Hey guys, if you watched last week's video, you, you realize we went through heavy farmer's carries and how it can reduce numbness into the hand if done with the right type of condition and in the right way. Now, using that similar type of thought process of getting the brain to really subconsciously shuffle through the movement patterns which are most, most optimal to free up the nerve is actually what we're gonna be doing today in a different pattern or a different type of effort. Overall though, we wanna shoot for about 80% perceived effort or 100% uh, is you can't do physically anymore. So this one, we're actually gonna go on our back. We just call this uh, star fishing. It's probably the easiest way. There's a couple different ways to do it with the legs. Legs can be up or legs can be down or legs can be down. I don't really care. Whatever makes the person most comfortable. Hands all the way in the ground. And if you see my shoulders up right now, this is not optimal. So let's stick them straight to the ground. So shoulder blade, tricep, elbow, and hand all stuck flat to the floor. And I'm trying to physically push the floor and push the earth away. Okay? You see I'm pushing so hard that I'm actually shaking right now. Push down, push to the floor, and then keep going until you feel like you can't do anymore. If this triggers something else, obviously that you're probably doing it a little, if you do a little bit differently, it might help out. Maybe even legs up, push through. A lot of times people, people you find with people with low back pain can't do it this way, so maybe doing it this way is better. But either way, I'm pushing, 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 pushing. When you feel thoroughly exhausted, you take a 10 second break. You go again, set your points flat on the ground, push your shoulder blades on the, on the ground, bury your triceps into the floor, and just push, 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 push. Keep going until you can't do it anymore. 10 second break, same thing again. This, the, the more effort you put into it, the quicker this goes. I've seen people be able to talk through it as I'm talking to you. Usually if you can speak, you're not doing it hard enough, okay? It should feel very, very strenuous for actually not doing anything at all. Nothing should hurt, but things should burn. You shouldn't be looking to actually stretch the area after because what we're looking to do is we're looking to improve the amount of tissue tone or muscular tone in the areas that are working and we're gonna use that tissue tone then to go through normal movements that are, have been in the past, creating numbness in the finger. But if those areas have become uh, slackened, a lot of times if you tighten them up, even momentarily like this, it'll reduce symptoms into the hand and reduce symptoms of numbness. Now, if you guys are obviously having numbness, going to see your healthcare provider is a really good thing because there's a lot of different things that can cause it. If you're looking for more information on the ulnar nerve or numbness into these fingers, and even these ones actually, uh, I actually have a course that I put online. These are just things that I've added over time and as I've learned more and more about how to resolve um, numbness into the fingers. So go into the link below and you'll get access to everything that I know about numbness into the fingers.